With the average price of a detached Toronto home creeping over the million dollar mark, owning real estate may seem like a pipe dream. But savvy buyers can still find affordable properties if they're willing to overlook a few inconveniences, an unfinished basement, poor air conditioning, or the fact that their house was the site of a grisly murder. Traditionally, when a seller was brutally slayed inside their home, prospective buyers would be turned off. But now, when a violent crime is reported, listing agents, brokers, and buyers are on the scene before the blood has a chance to cool. Oh, Linda, you really don't want to get your DNA on that. HGTV has already picked up on the murder house trend. I spoke with Brian Baumler about his newest hit show, Crime Scene Interiors. It's no secret why the show has been such a success. I mean, it's got everything that everybody loves. Violence, money, the aspiration of homeownership, sex. There's sex in the show? Plus, it capitalizes on two really hot trends that don't seem to be going away anytime soon. The insanity of the Toronto real estate market and man's inhumanity to man. Just the other day, a home with uh, two bedrooms, one bathroom, and four stranglings sold for $1.2 million. Wow, but what if the housing bubble bursts and crime rates drop? Let's just say that's not going to happen anytime soon, if you catch my drift. Are you implying that you're the one murdering these people? I didn't say that, Lauren. <laughs> it's even spreading to neighboring communities. A few years ago, no one would dream of looking in a garbage town like Hamilton. But with improving transit options and a high stabbing per capita rate, Steel City is the new it locale for murder houses. For The Beaverton, I'm Laura Silovitz.